Hi there, it's Mari Smith. I'm going to do a quick profile assessment for one of my Facebook friends. And today, that person is Tina Cook. And Tina won this special assessment in a contest that I ran for my Facebook for Professionals participants. So Tina, here we are on the brand new design. And I'm going to give you a couple bits of feedback here in the first part. Now, as we know, this is all very new to a lot of us. So one of the very first things I'm going to suggest you do, if you come down here, right under your picture, there's a little place, it's a new feature, and you can add, I can't see it because I'm looking at your profile, but there's like a little pencil, and it'll say add something here, edit, or it's like a little pencil, click on the pencil. I'll go back over to my profile, and you'll see, here you go, it's like that. See the pencil? And you have a certain amount of characters, and you can put some information in here. Uh, I've chosen to talk about the pronunciation of my name. I often get called Mary. My name is Mari. And a little bit about what I do because that very, very important information piece is now on a whole other tab under here. So we want to be able to say to people right away, what is it that you do so that they can connect with you and see, is this someone that uh, I want to know a little bit more about and, and develop a relationship with? All right, and now this is the wall, formerly mini feed is now basically the mini feed, which is all of your activities in conjunction with wall posts. So it's a new combo feature, but still, one of the things I would be looking at if I were looking at your profile through the eyes of a potential client or joint venture partner or collaborator, or anything like that, someone who's interested in being involved with you in a relationship on a professional basis. And so one of the things I might do is, is look at what is in your feed and, and your wall and look for some variety and see if this person is active. And so I'm seeing some different activities, lots of status updates, which is wonderful. It's something I really highly recommend that people do. Uh, and that is this little character here is the status updates, um, different people writing on your wall, things like that, replying to events. So that's great. Scroll on back up here. Now, the layout, there's really only a couple things that you can actually edit and tweak on this. They call it the wall tab now. It's essentially your profile consists of uh, uh, several default tabs, your wall, your info, photos, boxes, and then you can have more tabs along here. We'll speak about that in a second. But essentially, all of this is going to stay the same. Mutual friends, you can't move that. But under here, and again on your profile, I can't do it, but if you click on this blue bar, you can drag and drop this uh, below. You can't go anything above above uh, friends. That's going to stay the same. You've got video there. You've got photos and notes and posted items. Those are all good apps to leave there. And then you've got also circle of friends. And you can only have a limited number of restricted height uh, apps showing right here. So there's only a certain number that can actually fit there. Uh, and they're fine right now. You might want to just play with the order a little bit. That's up to you. Okay, so then coming on up here, uh, that's pretty much it on this page. And then I'm going to click over to your info. Now, pretty much everything here looks great. Everything you have in here is are searchable. All these little links. Uh, so anything in there, any text and non-links, in fact, can all be searched with the advanced profile search. We'll go into that uh, another time. But uh, one thing I noticed here... Uh, Tina, that I recommend when in the About Me, I would talk a little bit more about what you do. I know you have it further down here, but I would I would re-emphasize it right here. I mean, it's lovely what you have, but you might also add in something about what you do. Because I'm coming on down here. Also, you want to change this to an HTTP colon slash slash. Your main website is not hyperlinked. You want to change that. Come on down here. So now you have under Education and Work, I can see under Description that you're a wellness marketing coach. And you have this cute saying, behind every successful wellness entrepreneur is a marketing coach. So I would definitely put that wellness marketing coach part and about who the types of people that you help and what you do for them, the kind of results that you help people create. Put that a little bit here and about me and then that place we talked about up here uh, that will show on no matter which tab people are clicking on, that will show up there. Uh, coming on down here, I can see you remember a lot of groups, 113. Um, I like to push these down bef below the fold before, but now that you got to have them exposed, and then you're your fans of all these different pages, and that's pretty much it on the info page or tab, excuse me, the info tab. Uh, I looked at your photos before, and those are looking fine. You are using it to the Facebook for uploading some nice photos, and then boxes. You have a lot of boxes. I preloaded that page, and my internet's not super fast. And uh, here you have your boxes. Now, 
Same with uh, what you could do before is uh, you can grab with a little blue bar and it turns into a cross hatch and then you just lift it up and drag it and drop it when it creates that little dotted outline. So I would first off right away recommend that you move funny cards unless you're using funny cards and it's it's actually helping you to build your power and create business or anything like that I'm not sure or maybe I'm overlooking the purpose of it I'm not sure I just for me I wouldn't necessarily have something called funny cards at the very, very top of my apps tab uh, that they call boxes top groups not bad I might um, suggest that you go for the the setting on top groups that puts these icons is much smaller because that really takes up quite a bit of space and, and, and so there's a setting you can choose a, a, sh a smaller icon business cards is a good app I like that one Let's see did I miss one up there no that's part of that one Wear blank, that's good. Stylish, classy, beautiful. Okay. Oh, thank you for featuring me. That's cute. Featured friends is a nice one. LinkedIn, Powerform. This is a good one. I would put this one fairly high up too. You want people to be able to connect with you in all other mediums that they're involved with as well. YouTube, Twitter, wherever it might be. Very good. Uh, Secret circles. What I'm looking for here, essentially, Tina, is is to see that the apps that you do have are adding value to your profile. They're they're underscoring and emphasizing what it is that you do they're also expressing a little bit about your personality which is fine because we really blend that line between personal and professional is is quite blurry these days nonetheless you want to just keep in mind to to keep it clean i would keep a fairly lean apps tab now because see words before we could push these down below the fold and 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 things like that then it was easier to just have a, a different a different look it's a whole different look and feel so I'm scrolling on down here as I'm speaking but yeah so my links good work in it yeah tag business pro these are all good for business purposes Twitter see I'd push this one way up the front actually I, I wish we could get this one this one Twitter I like this app but it won't go on the uh, the main uh, sidebar of of the wall tab it's uh, annoying but there you go top friends another good app there too growing gifts gifts I'm not a big fan of that one it takes up room uh, friend wheel, super po I don't like that app. It's like these are all frivolous and playful and, and no offense to the wonderful app creators and it's definitely just a personal choice. It's up to you. But again, just keeping in mind of wanting to really let people know what you do for a business, how you can help them, results you can create. If you ever have any video, like video testimonials or video about the work you do, you want to pull that in using maybe one of the YouTube apps. Um, Okay, I like who's online. Send rose, yep, send roses, affirmations. I love these. Uh -huh, Shelfari is not bad. You could so showing some, reading some books. Mhm. Mm Runes. Where I've been. There's a lot of apps here. A lot of apps. I would probably do a little bit of app house cleaning. There's your YouTube box. You do actually have a YouTube box. It's one of Louise his videos. Yeah, and then this one here. See, I like that. Say it with flowers app, but it's just taking up too much room. Actually, you can you can have these settings where you still have the app, but it's not showing up on your tabs, uh, the apps tab or boxes tab, and you get to that by just mouse over applications and click on see all my applications, and then when that comes up, there'll be a link over here that says show all or see all. There's another link you click, and then you can go and drill down and edit the settings on each one. Let's scroll on back down here. And so, for example, you can keep this app, but it just doesn't have to take up valuable space on your your uh, tab here. Testimonials, billionaire, uh huh, from flower, quizzer, see something like that. It's just there's not you know it's just taking up space. It's not doing anything in the color of your aura. Okay, well, very good. I hope this has been of some value to you, Tina. I want to keep the video as short as I can. But you've got some good things going on here, and uh, like I say, that's going to be some good good things to add in so we can get a better sense of who you are and what you do and what you're looking for in terms of your clients and uh, business expansion and very happy to help you okay and this is Mari Smith Facebook business coach at facebookcoach.com and do check out my blog too at whyfacebook.com that's w-h-y facebook.com